Hi there, and welcome to another Plurry Boom review. Today we're taking a look at the Harman Phoenix ISO 200 color film. It just came out a couple of days ago, and I grabbed my trusty Nikon F4. I'll have a review of this out in a couple of days. And I just ran through a whole roll, and I wanted to kind of just give you guys an idea of the texture and the quality of this film, because it is a very interesting film. Um, so Harman is the company that uh, basically produces Ilford film, they produce Kentmere film, and they also have their own branded film, like the Phoenix here. Um, and they have never made color film before, which is very cool to me, that that film now has enough demand that a company uh, that had only ever produced black and white film is doing something experimental like this. So it took them 12 months to, to come and develop this, this colored film here. And there's some interesting things about this. So, so one of the things that you'll notice uh, after you get it developed is that the uh, negatives are on this sort of uh, gray, grayish blue base. And, and that's something that's not standard for a C41 film. So you would actually see that more typically on a black and white film. Uh, so FOMA uh, famously produces all of their film uh, or much of their 35 millimeter film on a gray blue triacetate base, which made me wonder if, if this was sort of one of the, the quick ways for them to get to market. Um, but it still actually produces fine uh, sort of color balanced results when you set your, your scanner up properly. So for me, I have a Nikon cool scan and basically what I what I did was I set it to auto levels and auto color and it just picked it up fine. Another thing that you'll notice when you open up this film is that the uh, color of the emulsion is is yellow. So that's that's kind of cool. Uh, it's it's not something you would normally see and it it's got an interesting smell to it. So if you if you pick it up you'll you'll kind of catch a whiff of that. Um, so it's a it's a very crunchy film. Uh, it's got a lot of grain and it's got a lot of contrast. Uh, so honestly, it's, it's not the greatest film uh, and it's not really going to, I mean, I, I could see it being something that, that you would stylistically choose for, for specific things but it's not really gonna be your uh, flexible film that you can use for whatever you wanna go shooting on. So uh, I, I took some, some photos of, of some things that I thought were, were sort of very stark in color and contrast to try and sort of give you guys an idea of, uh, like you could take a look at this photo uh, and say, hey, this is, you know, obviously the colors are off here or obviously the texture is off here. And uh, so I, I tried to just pick out some, some very sort of bright colored things so that we could kind of get a baseline. Um, it's, it's a film that I, I, I think you should just go out and buy because uh, not many companies are producing new C41 color films this day and age. Uh, there was actually a new one that came out earlier this year from uh, Orwa or Wolfen, uh, which was the NC500 which also was actually a pretty cool film stock. Uh, it's just that the company behind it is maybe not the most reliable. And so a lot of people were complaining about the time it took for them to get their film stocks. I actually ordered the 16 millimeter film from them and it took months and months and months for it to arrive. And it finally did and there were some quality control issues. Their, their sprocket punching machine is obviously not as accurate as, as Kodak's. And so there's quite a bit of frame movement uh, in my in my 16 millimeter film, but Harman, on the other hand, has been doing this for for years and years, and and their film is is very reliable. So it's 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 a very exciting thing that they're that they're doing this, and and you're kind of helping them fund their next iteration of color film by picking this stuff up. So I would just get some and shoot it and just kind of like uh, take a look at the results because it's. It's very interesting, um, and it's not gonna, you know, blow you away or anything, but it's crunchy, and it's got a specific style to it. It's got a little soul, so uh, that's the, the Harman Phoenix ISO 200 color film. I'll show some photos here that I took. You guys can tell me what you think in the comments, and if you like this stuff, please give me a subscribe, and I'll do some more stuff uh, coming up soon. I'm, I'm hoping to get a, a review of my 16 millimeter camera and show some actual some movie footage that I shot with that as well. Thanks for watching.